Hello you, welcome back. Today we are playing The Wolf Among Us. So I took a little bit of a break because I was absolutely exhausted for uploading three times a week. Uh, mostly because of work. Work can be a bitch, am I right? So anyway, we're here and I really wanted to play The Wolf Among Us again because it's such an intriguing game. It's one of my favorites, to be quite honest with you. The storytelling is just magnifique. We have a key, 204, but we need to go to 207, which I assume is a room to the Open Arms Motel, maybe? Anyway, without further ado and too much rambling, let's get into it. Pew! Everyone knows you, Big Bad Wolf. Hello you and welcome back to the playthrough. So, like I mentioned, we just finished with the pudding and pie and now we're going to the motel, the open arms. I don't know if it's a motel or not. It should be, probably, because the girls meet up there with their clients. Intriguing. Oh, is that it? That's rather close. Oh my gosh, an officer? Is that a, a Mundy, maybe? He looks like a Mundy. Hmm. Oh, hello, yeah. That's a little bit... Obviously. It's always the sheriff! <laughs> Police officers, always the same thing. I am a sheriff though, so I shouldn't... <laughs> I shouldn't spill the tea like that, no. Okay, open arms, arms hotel, the Bronx late evening. I need a cola. I want a cola now. Damn advertising, always getting me. <laughs> You're not gonna get me next time. Alright, so we got room number 204. Smile, you're on camera. Okay, so... Oh, we can get a Coke? Can we get a Coke? I want a Coke. Yeah. What? Wait. I want a Coke! Are you serious? Listen, babe, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Literally, I'm thirsty. Um, there's a phone. I'm sorry if I'm loud. I'm just excited to be here again. I'll chill. Oh, Pixel, I'm so sorry for you, babe. You should probably repair that. Huh, that's a... Uh... That's a little bit shitty. I'm not sure if I like that. Hmm. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their Yeah, rates. that ain't looking too fresh. Where's housekeeping when you need it? Oh, I'm still smoking inside. Ugh, I'm not used to smoking. No. Oh, no, we're not going to do that yet. I doubt anyone is going to come and answer me or meet me at the reception, though. So let's try it. No refunds. Please ring bell. Oh, actually. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Uh. <gasps> oh, a beauty. What are you doing? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. I was close with my two. So, now you know. Mm. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he. He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Baby, you should All tell Beast. All friends live at the woodlands. He'd be mortified. You still need to tell your husband. You should really tell Beast. He's worried yeah, about Yeah, what you. if he thinks... Of I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. When is your time? How long have you... By the way, thanks for covering for me. You're welcome. So, what are you doing here? Investigation! Maybe you can help oh, me. you have a key. Someone else was murdered. Last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Later clients? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. Yeah. I did see her. Okay. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Because she was a troll? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Did you know Faith? Have you seen Snow here? Ever seen Lily with anyone? Yes, yes, yes. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. Hmm. I haven't worked here that long, though. Okay. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? Yeah. Good one. Well, that's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Great. Hmm, go up to the room. No, let me talk a little bit more. Uh, do you know Twindle D? I talked to Tweedle D earlier today. Tweedle D. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Damn it. Why take out a loan from those two? Desperation? It was from the crooked man. 
What? Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else they to go. They backed you into a corner. Well, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? There's not much confidence. I tried. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. We're not helping the people, which is frustrating because we don't give them the confidence to come to us when they need help because they just get turned away. So something really needs to change because now she's turning to all of these shady people who are taking advantage of the situation and of her. So, did you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Have you seen Snow? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamorous? Lily, though, right? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. All right. Interesting. Thanks. Thank you. Wait. What? It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay, thanks. Companion! Hell yeah! Five minutes, please. All right. Let's see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. Oh, no! It won't be hard. I want to snoop around a little bit harder. <laughs> a little bit harder? <laughs> a little bit longer. Can I get a fresh set? Hmm, trophy. Okay, cool. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Babe. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. <laughs> You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Damn it. Which one was it? Again, I have a weakness for beautiful ladies. Yeah, two oh. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> No. Oh, I'm sorry, beauty. You don't get to... No, we're not going to call out on that. No. I kind of want <laughs> The voting is throwing me off, man. I kind of want to see what's happening. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. I want to... to these rooms. I thought you had a key. I'm sorry. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any Shit. room you want. Oh, man. What if someone's in there? Might be. You can't just go barging in. Might be. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Well, I'm I just guess. fucking around now. No, <laughs> we're actually going to. Oh no, I'm a weirdo. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna get beauty fired. I'm... Hey, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gonna get me fired. Yeah, I need this job. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to fuck around. Okay, I'll be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> I'm just putting her livelihood on the line for my fuckery, and I'm very sorry. Okay, so this is 204, but I want to go to 207. Okay, let me just go to 204 for a bit, and then we'll go to 207. Don't kick me out, beauty. Okay, just don't kick me out. Don't kick me out. Never sure why they have desks in a place like this. I can't imagine a couple of scenarios why they would have a desk. Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, I don't want to lay on my bed though. Do not touch the bed. Do not touch the bed. Oh, what the fuck is that? Species? Inspectors through here very often. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, this... Finding what you're looking for? Well, no, I wasn't not really. Expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No, Listen. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. I was just fucking around. I knew that. I just wanted to check out the dirty state of the place. You know, I'm actually health inspection. So are we done now? No, babe, no, not. The room they met in was 207. So we're gonna go that way. Can I? Can I? No. Fine. I'm not fucking around. She's already mad at me. 
<laughs> All right, well, let me listen first. Anybody in there banging? No, we're good. It seems quiet. If I find a dead body, I'm gonna be mad. Well, that's the place, yo. Maybe I shouldn't knock. Well, fuck it, now it's too late. I knocked anyway, let's go. 207, open this one. Yeah, come on. This one is actually important, not just, just to mess around. Well, that's weird. What? This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! <gasps> oh! Ah, shit. Shit, is it? Oh, no. Baby? Oh, no, How he's gonna... do this to no, me? No, 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 no. No, Wait a minute. He's misunderstanding. How could you We've been together no, through no, everything. No, it's not, I took it's care not, of you. I love it's not Beast. What you think. Beast, please. Beast, please don't. You're cheating on no. me. No, we're not doing that. No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. Please be careful. I'm helping him. That's all. It's a matter of investigation. Back. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He's, I'm he's sure you help each other just great. You've got I it wrong. I know what this place is. Listen, I'm on I a case. Know what I... This is a murder investigation. I'm on a case. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! Oh shit, he's fucking off. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Listen, bro! Just listen you're to jumping me. to There's conclusions! I'm not! <laughs> this is why you should have told her! I, I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping Talk with her to your this wife. whole time! Talk to listen your to your wife! wife. Just Calm down and Beast! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Ah, oh no, I thought it would work! Damn you! What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh no, 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 no. I don't. You aren't no, even listening not to me. Beasto to Beasto. Come on. No, I don't want to hurt him. She's I, my wife, baby. I know, and I don't. I'm not screwing your wife. You. This is why you should have told the ah. truth. Beauty, this is what happens when you keep Stop. stuff from people. This is what fucking happens. Listen, I don't want to get killed. I don't want to get killed, so... Please! Leave it be! I I'm trying it's to... My fault. Oh, shit. Yeah, it kind of is, girl. Please, no! Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, no. <gasps> Listen, I dodged that like a champ. What are you talking about? Ah! Uh, no! Ah! Oh, oh, do not! Do not! Do not! Fucking murder him! Oh shit, oh shit, oh my god. Okay, I wanna stop. Okay. Baby, no, don't hurt him! I, he's had enough, he's had enough. I don't wanna hurt him. I didn't hit, I kinda hit these though. Oh fuck, oh come on, do not hit. You dirty cheater. No, 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 you're thinking I'm the cheater, but you're the cheater. I'm not the cheater. You ruined everything! <laughs> She's my fucking. Can you cheat? Oh, that works. That works in my favor. Hey, there you go. It turned out to be great anyway. Are we cool now, Beast? Come on, I'm not fucking. Oh shit! The lily shit, petals. What have you done? <laughs> my job. Now we're gonna get kicked out for what? sure. What is this, Bigby? Look what you did to the door. <laughs> you can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. You you don't want to see this. Oh my god. Is that what happens? <laughs> the door's open now! Stay outside. Beauty, stay in the hall. Yeah, just stay what? outside. Why? What's going on? No, 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 on? baby. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. Is this where she met her end? It's the Lily. happened right here. Lily Paddles. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Who rented you this room? remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. Mm. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? That makes sense. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But... Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? I'm not fecking your wife, okay? Chill. Get your horns in control. <laughs> Damn. Beauty. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? Serial killer? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. It sort of makes sense to hire the room I for long term. 
finished. I'm explaining. Because now he gets a place where he can actually active kill the prostitutes. Which really makes sense. Because it won't be as suspicious, I think. Because she, Beauty, clearly doesn't know what happened. And she just got in to this position, into the job. What happened to the previous receptionist? You know, I'm just thinking that. Like, maybe she knew too much, too? I, I don't know. Let's, what's this? It's an apple? Do you smell something? No. Oh. Snow always has an apple in her story. Is it part of the facade of the glamour? Intriguing. Okay, so what's this? It's a book. <gasps> Beautiful. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Hmm. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? He has a foot fetish. He made Lily bite the apple, I think. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about yeah. Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Connects to the <gasps> evidence. No. Do you think it was poisoned? Why would it he? Wasn't. I'd have smelled that. Yeah. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene yeah. in the book. Wouldn't of explain course. all of the blood. Makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, mm -hmm. which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... I know. Uh... You know what snow means to me, so... Hmm. Was she breathing? What the Why fuck? Is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Well, somebody definitely has died. Well, that's fucking disgusting. Alright, back out. What's this? He brought wine. <gasps> Classy. Is that the same wine that Crane God. drinks? Is it though? I recognize that. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that. <laughs> it isn't me. I think. Apparently not. What if it's me in my wolf form or something, and I don't remember doing all of this? <sighs> Let's not think about that too hard, okay? No. I seem to be in some sort of control for my arrival. What? What are you talking about? Okay, well we got a cassette. I want to check out the bed first before Looks we go like into the closet. She was lying down when she was no shit. Killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. Uh. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Hmm. Mm. What? What are you thinking? The flowers mean a personal connection. Reminds me of Snow's coffin. Baby. Yeah, I'm thinking! It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. It's disgusting. You're right. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. What else is in the book? Do we know? She comes back to life, she though. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. Could have been How you. Did she <laughs> wind up here. Sorry. I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person? We don't really we know. We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Yeah. Can't point, pinpoint it. I also have that flower, which... She must have been so scared. Can I, can I connect the flowers? Oh, I still can't connect the flowers. The lily paddles, you know? Well, we know that's the same. Oh, for the cassette. I have a cassette. Let's listen. Well, this is gruesome. Really fits the mood, doesn't it? Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Really? Last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Yeah, pretty loud. God damn you. 
All right, there's Maybe a closet. She didn't see it coming. Yep, probably she didn't see it coming. Who sees that shit coming? Still, it's a dangerous profession. What's this? Oh, it's the dress it's she been wore. Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn nah. some other time. She was wearing something else at the moment, though. With oh, snow's no, clothing. What? What now? Could it, could it <laughs> could be a crossdresser? It looks like a snow costume from the fa fairy tale. This is the same dress as the one in the yeah. book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it <coughs> to recreate the snow from the book. Yeah, so yeah. he's a creep with it's a fetish. Okay. It's another match to what's in the book. But why kill Faith first? Is God, it the same person? I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. Yeah. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. <laughs> well, it's not very hard. <laughs> so he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. Yeah. Is that I still gonna happen? <laughs> I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Well, you managed really well so far, I gotta say. Thought you'd be more freaking out. Okay. Hey, there's a letter? An envelope? Careless. Very careless. Let me check. What is this, my friends? What is this? Beauty? Oh, the music just got louder all by itself. Oh, God. Are they... Are those pictures of the dead girl? No, it's my snow. I think it's the real snow. Is my oh, snow in danger? No. I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. I don't this like this. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. My Trust snow! Me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. If he catches my snow. stand in for snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. No. What is it? We <gasps> already thought we... Rain. The wine! The wine! I had my suspicions! Oh! He's the one with the fetish! I I had my suspicious shins, but I would never actually He uh, could be after you uh, now. Good! I am dying to get my hands on, on that disgusting weasel! Oh my god! Crane! Yikes! Did he actually kill her? Did he kill Lily? He's dying to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Well, yeah, sure. That's true. <laughs> Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh my god, Bluebeard. Oh god, fuck off, mate. I'm of done it, with you. Or I'll take care of it for you. No, you need to stay out of danger and away from Craig. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Oh, that's me when you come for snow, bitch. <laughs> what the hell? So I was actually quite close to the second chapter's ending in the last episode, so we're still gonna play. All right, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60% of the players sympathized with him. Well, he was most likely, I'm, I'm saying most likely, maybe he's being framed, I don't think so. But he was the killer. He was the one with the fetish and who killed Lily. Did he kill Faith too? This is so... Ah! Okay, how did you treat the murder suspect? So, you and 62% of the players persuaded him to talk. Okay, so not everyone was m managing to do that. Did you let Snow come with you to the chip chat? Thank fuck I did, though. Thank fuck I did. I don't want to leave her with Crane. So, you and 91%, everyone's weak for Snow. <laughs> everyone's simping for Snow. Let her do what she wants. Okay, so how did you handle Georgie Porgy? So, almost 70% of the players didn't hit Georgie. I felt it was useless anyway. 
Did you keep punching the beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of the players opted not to hit beast a second time. Yeah, I didn't think that was a good idea. He was just distressed and it's uh, shitty. All right, let's go. We have another chapter. That was cool. This is getting intriguing. I suspect a crane sometimes and especially with the wine and he's obviously very close to snow so it would have made sense but didn't he get a massage that night it is him it's gotta be him it's gotta be him everything is leading up to him so I still feel like there's more to the story and it can't just be Crane. So maybe he just killed Lily because he has a snow fetish. But maybe Faith wasn't connected. I don't know. We're just going to have to see. So chapter three, let's go. Hmm. I still think there's more to the story or else why end here, you know? Okay, a crooked mouse start episode, I suppose. Oh, this is intriguing. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. He's so, a good liar, Ichabod. Crane, I just want knew. you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not okay, going yet. to be an errand girl Still for Crane anymore. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! So we found out what Beauty does to make uh, rent. She's not a prostitute like I what predicted or thought, <gasps> but she's working at the crane. desk. And this bit, that bit is really disturbing to me. Really fucking disgusting. So, great. Hmm. Intriguing. All right, so here we are, chapter three. Yikes. Great. Fucking creep, that piece of shit. Fucking creep, that's what he is. Fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Well, he wasn't really that great from the beginning with. What's going on? What it's fucking Crane. There? You know, other than the. I need to find Just Snow. I need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? I need to protect her. Shit! Crane Even though she's a mine. Oh, Bigby, calm down. I know, I know. We care a lot about Everything's snow. It's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? She might be in danger. That little fucker might be after snow. My need snow. To find her right now. She's okay. not mine, but it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham <gasps> Trip Trap. Are you drinking? When? Right now. <laughs> Not right now. Out. That's a discussion Big for me? another time. Oh my God. Wait. Beauty, I have to go look for Snow. What? I'm sorry. Snow. What? Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell what do you, her. And you, what do you should mean? tell her. But what do you mean? What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. She was abused, wasn't she? It wasn't in her book of fables. But I don't know the extent of it. And when I see that picture, it doesn't... Doesn't look too good. Promising leads. Okay, I'm gonna need to check up on the Book of Fables too. I keep forgetting. 
Let me do that real quick, actually. Buckingham Bridge. Okay, let me just check the Book of Fables for now before we dive into the next part. Because we got a new set of things. Like over here, even... Oh, we got so much. Okay, Prince Lawrence. We're just going to start with the new characters that I haven't read before, okay? If you don't want to see this, you can skip to... Uh, you know, there. But why would you? You know, why would you? Okay, Prince Lawrence, Faith's husband. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife, Faith, immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find aid in a community of fellow fables. But without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance, which is fucking ridiculous to me. It's like, okay, they can't afford to be in Fable Town, which is also silly, like, make sure all of your fables are taken care of shit can go wrong when they're out of sight anyway and not just for themselves but also for the good of fable town you know you don't know what is going to happen you need to make sure they're taken care of for the good of all it's just my opinion their prospects dwindling faith left lawrence to try to make it on her own now without his wife to support lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks to depression that's shitty. All right, the Twindles, hired goons. The Tweedle brothers, Dumb and D, are tugged for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Mundy world without drawing suspicion. They are as inseparable as they are ruthless. They're little shits, that's what they are. They're not really intimidating to me at all. They're just little shits and they sort of get in the way. Who are they working for though? We don't know that yet. It's the Crooked Man. Who is the Crooked Man? We had a mention of that, and Beauty seemed very upset, and Big B also seemed upset about that, that she actually hmm, had a connection there. Okay, Holly, Trip Trap owner. Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll, and the owner of the Trip Trap bar. She's glamour to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables with little to spare. But she has no patience for the Fable Town government that has done nothing to locate her mi missing sister. And I get her frustration. A lot of people who try to go through the regular routes, they don't get the help they need from, let's say, Ichabod Crane and even Snow. She's just having to turn them away. Something needs to change. Grendel! Right, Grendel just wants to be left alone. In the old days, he terrorized Norse meat halls. I remember now. But lately, he can be found occupying a stool in various quiet, dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who've learned to offer him the space and silence he deserves, which is why he's so honorable and loyal to Hall. Okay, talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. We noticed that firsthand. Bluebeard, we talked. Big B's mercy. Wait, what? What's this? In the days leading up to the Exodus, the big bad wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the back forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beast's preferred quarry and their own flesh was rotten with corruption. Hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour their night's watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains for sparing their prisoners. Oh, Big B. One day, he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they helped captive. Oh my gosh, is this their backstory with snow? Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was as dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf's power, bravely placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two would meet again in the Monday world. That's... I love that story. That's such a good introduction to a romance, I'm just saying. All right. Ichabod's Denial, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Okay, during his days in Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane fell in love with a wealthy young woman named Katrina Van Tessel. She was beautiful and very rich. But that means she also caught the attention of another suitor, Abraham Bram van Brunt. 
very Dutch pronunciation. Uh, as Ichabod's rival, Bron would plan nasty pranks in order to humiliate the often superstitious school teacher. Despite Bron's plot to win Katrina over, Ichabod believed he would be chosen as her favorite. After a party at her father's home, Ichabod proposed to Katrina and was very quickly rejected. Oops. He immediately rode off in shame and was never seen in Sleepy Hollow again. According to Crane, he was chased out of town by the headless horseman. But in reality, it was just probably just one of Brahms pranks. I believe in the headless horseman. Why wouldn't we? All right, the 13th floor. The one who uh, actually provide the glamours, right? Okay, the 13th floor of the Woodland Building is home to a group of witches and wits witchers, wizards, tasked with the protection of Fable Town. They're not really doing a great job for it though. Why, okay, sure, resources for making the glamours might be expensive, might be harder to maintain. Maybe the magic is running low the longer they stay in Fable Town and not actually in their proper worlds, but they're not really taking good care of all of the Fable Town residents now, are they? No. They use their powers to keep the community hidden from prying mon Monday eyes. But all the magic has its limits, and every spell has its cost. Yeah, that's what I'm theorizing. The magic mirror is now broken. <laughs> the magic mirror speaks mostly in rhyme and he demands that others do the same. He also requires the name of whatever object or person you wish to find. If you follow these rules, the mirror will show you a glimpse of whatever you want to see, but nothing more. The Witching Well. The Witching Well is located in a chamber inside the Woodland Building where it is used to dispose of things meant never to be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths, Ugh, great. as are the most unredeemable criminals. No one is entirely sure what lies at the bottom of the well, nor indeed if it has a bottom at all, but it is widely assumed to be a passageway to the final resting place. Lots of dead bodies in that well, hmm. Jack Horner, harmless trickster. Okay, so he's harmless, he's just very annoying. Jack is always up to something, but he's not nearly as smart as he thinks he is. His plans to get rich quick often backfire, but his confidence never wavers. He thinks he's the most important person in Fabletown. Oh, we noticed. But everyone knows him as mostly a harmless smartass. Well, okay, good. Nothing to worry about. Lily. Lily and her sister Holly grew up in the homelands together, but had a falling out shortly, shortly after moving to the mundane world. Aimless and increasingly destitute, Lily turned to prostitution, and now she is the second victim in an ongoing murder investigation. Damn you. The Strolls Cross. A troll cross is an amulet made of iron that was foolishly thought to protect the wearer from trolls. Lily acquired hers while wandering through the wildlands searching for something to eat. She came across a human, <laughs> but before she could devour him, he held the troll cross out and shouted, Back! Back, you troll! After enjoying her tasty snack, Lily plucked the cross from the dead man's hands, and after the exodus, she wore the troll cross constantly as a reminder of better days. <sighs> okay, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> also, I remind, it's, it's something that just popped into my mind, because Crane was very anti-troll, which is very funny considering now, we know what happened with Lily and Crane. Hmm. Did he already know that she was the, is she, it, he knew she was an imposter. Hmm. Something to ponder about. Georgie Porgy. Georgie runs the Putting and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He has tried just about everything there is to try in the pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. Mm -hmm. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Clever hands, bouncer, janitor, handyman. 
Clever Hans always does something exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as is the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. I am not familiar with this story. Anyone, if you could comment down below and tell me Clever Hans' is a proper story, I would love to know his origins, in fact. Unsurprisingly, she left him, oh poor boy, and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day. Oh, he sure has to look for it though. I could, I, I would come and watch him dance, <laughs> like just the support, like yeah, look at him go. We need to get Hans on the stage. Yep, that's our new goal. Saving Pixel <laughs> and get Clever Hands on his stage. Okay, but now he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Oh, Hands, he's my new favorite. Narissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Narissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. So sad. I know that it's the traditional uh, fairy tale from Hans Christian Andersen. Denmark. There's actually in Copenhagen, I'm from Copenhagen, and there's like a statue of the little mermaid by the port. And uh, she had her head chopped off a couple of times, like she hadn't suffered enough, you know. But people tend to grab and steal her head. Nobody knows where the heads are. Maybe some are... Well, I think maybe one of it was found, but they keep resurrecting it. And still people take their head, her head off at that. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. Oh, Nerissa, poor girl. Poor, poor girl. I missed a little bit there. Do you think we can still find it? Hmm. All right, let's resume. Okay, Buckingham Bridge. <sighs> I am worried for snow. This is the funeral, right, for Lily? she was truly close to why are you looking so mad at me if you're here then you were part of a very special circle people she trusted and cared for I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that let's be honorable the pain for a of second. losing Lily will ever subside I know as well as you that it will never subside but I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like I'll to miss talk worrying about, about you. How you've all been I'll so great to share with me. I'll miss your you. memories of her. Holly. How she could be stubborn and patient. That's sad. And that made me cry. How she carried a torch now for the you will old never ways, die from indifference or lead a tedious life. Pageantry. Goodbye, sweetheart. And most of all, Thanks it for seems everything. how Vivian. Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them in good you times a big, and bright, bad. shining star I never met Lily, in this shithole of a town. Been told. And I miss you already. I know in my heart Gran. that she would have liked He's to loyal. be here tonight. I like that. And now we'll Billy Goat? Rye whiskey? Did she like that? Thank you. That's sweet. I just like when there's personal things. Look at that helmet, though. I just noticed. That's badass. It looks like a Viking helmet. My funeral, Lily, I wanted to be a party. Is everything okay? I waited for him to no, finish. No, not you. Listen, I didn't interrupt. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. I'm sorry. Holly, wait. He I'm just here. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. I'm sorry. Holly, I'm sorry. But I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. I thought, I thought I'd give you. After you lie, after you promise me. I wanted to give you. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He, 
Of course he did. Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I I meant for the I'm body. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this She's... genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell That's me not Big important B now. gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I didn't know. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. I am if sorry. He cares, Holly. He's trying to help. I do and care. I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Yes, no, this um... One isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? I can't. Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. Maybe I should No, I, I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. Ooh, so talk. I need to talk to Snow. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who was it? I'm sorry. I'm here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. <sighs> Just I tell can't us who it was. Risk. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. I don't want to risk what? them I'm not getting just into my you. investigation. I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. We don't want to mess things up and actually risk Look, Holly, losing out I on the killer. No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I hear you. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Emotions are running high, which is understandable. And I really wanted to tell Holly. I really did. But I'm worried she's going to mess up my situation. Okay. You think you know who the killer is? What have you got? This is going to be the worst part. Lily was Crane's prostitute. Baby? What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the oh, open arms. I'm worried. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. How are you taking this? this is, are you connecting the dots? I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm sorry. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To I'm not sorry. picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? I have a this picture. This is what he's been doing? Uh, I have to show because the picture. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it oh, would be Oh, I'm sorry, Snow, but you have to look at this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> you took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. It's up, it's up to you. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. I'm here for you. We'll get out of here after that, okay? How'd it go? At the motel. Oh, honey, did you, you don't want to know. I sure did. Yeah. No? I, Thanks. uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Marissa. Yeah, um, uh, coming. Are you okay? Are your feet okay? Want me to carry you there? I know it's not comfortable for you to walk. And she's walking in heels, too. She's so strong. Constable. What? Wait, oh. wait, wait. Easy now, girl. Oh, you my know God. How this goes. The first thing in a visit, 
You say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is that really way, not the it's time. Proper. Now Ugh. is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to Can do. Can you please leave well, me alone? that the thing of it? Plans. You want me to beat Except your it ass? Except our plans yeah. you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. A little so you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Are you working for Just Crane? Just take then? a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for him? You working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See, now, you're already asking too many questions. <laughs> Just pay attention. Nah. Not right now. So I'm what's sorry. It be? We have a deal. You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Oh. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. It's not and working in my favor. we're unhappy to that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I can't talk about Crane. Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone, just stay where you are. You nice guys are so natural. annoying. You're I'm just not annoying. Making any deal with you, so just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. Shit! Don't shoot anyone. Ah! Oh! Oh! I knew that would happen. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? I'm sorry. Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just don't shoot them? Interrupt don't shoot children? them, please. Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. I'll handle this. Listen to your lady love. I'll handle this. Please Sit let me down. Handle this. Please. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead <gasps> hole. I'm gonna kill you! Shit! Shit! Please don't hurt them! I need to help them! I got it done! No! Come on, come on, fucking drop it, fucking drop it, fucking drop it! Is Holly okay? No, Gwen! No, me! Fuck! Okay, just my shoulder, I thought it was my head. Is she gone? Don't tell me she's gone, did I fuck up? Are you serious? I should have taken the fucking deal. No. No. It's Gren and it's Holly. Are you kidding me? But I didn't want to take the fucking deal. Maybe I should have and just lied to him. Like, sure, I'll take the deal and just backstab them. Like, fuck no, I'm not taking the deal. Everyone would have been safe at least. Now I ruined the the funeral because I made it more funerally. Oh fuck! Oh, the capacity at this funeral is too much. <laughs> Am I fucking up? I feel like I'm fucking up. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make good decisions, but maybe I should be smarter about this. Damn you! I'm just going with my gut. Maybe I shouldn't go with my gut. A crooked mile? Are we going to find the crooked man? Are they gone? Don't tell me they're gone. Did I kill them? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll That's eventually okay. warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. What? Okay. You're not hearing me. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> Bigby is looking fine. Don't be looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? How's everyone else? They all make it. Please, They're please. Fine. Oh, thank fuck! I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Thank Holly God. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar. 
with a dose of juniper and spring water. Good, you're not... Okay, fables are hard the to kill, I knew that. They'll be fine. Just okay, remember thanks. what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Okay, great. Thanks Every for that, I moderation. guess. And uh, eat more chicken. Eat Your more blood chicken? Pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll we'll try. try Alright then. Very good. He's nice. I like him. He seems kind. Business office. He's got kind eyes. I know. I'll have to call you back. Who? The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it. Listen, I didn't Miss talk Wife? about Bigby? Crane. Hmm. I look nice though, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I know Snow, right? Am I right? <laughs> so, to recap... <laughs> She's having trouble too. Crane like... watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after her. Poor mirror. I know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Cool. How about job. cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. We can put it back together. So, I guess that's the plan. Currently. I suppose. But any other I, I don't know. Crane's getting away. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some I direction. know, but we need something. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... We don't know I much. Mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Well, 99%. Get it, but do you really think he killed those women? I'm not because sure about just, that. I think he killed Lily, though. To me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. I'm not sure about Faith, though. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? Doesn't seem connected. It does not yeah, now. It, it doesn't make sense. He's he was a conniver, a a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. I'm sorry. That's but murdering prostitutes. I think he did kill Everything Lily though. Okay over there? Did you cut yes, yourself? Ms. White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Are you okay? Nothing bad? Thanks for tonight, by the way. What, me? That I kind could of... could have gone really terribly. I felt like I Even worse up. than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Yeah. And the Tweedlebrush got away. everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. I hope so, too. But time does a lot of good. Can I, um, ask you a question? You want to marry me? Yes. It's Are you in love with personal. me? Oh, yes, you're in love. Yes, I'm in love with you. I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Let's, let's keep this professional. Mind. Fuck yeah. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. Killing? And Murders? I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong me no i'm trying to because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending no but no i don't enjoy it are you kidding me it's horrible what happened tonight i wish it didn't happen yeah excuse I shouldn't me i've said anything forget that i did snow i'm trying to be better uh it guys we have a problem. What it's is just it? breaking. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Did he take it? What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh, he must have taken it. He must it. have taken a shard with him. It's clever. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Shit, we well, really need to find it, but if we don't have the mirror... True. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Great. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What's the we hard can't way? depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? Yeah. We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Right, I'm the detective, right? He had right. to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Alright, I'll come help you look. Oh, Bubkin. 
Give you a pat. You're so cute. I still love you. Don't worry. Oh, baby, I want to comfort him. Also, Snow talking to me about that little situation that I enjoy when things go wrong. It seems like pre-rendered pre-justice, like how I used to be. And they expect me to enjoy that. And maybe some players actually are still playing him like that. But I feel like my Big B is trying to be better. And he doesn't enjoy when things go wrong. And he feels bad. At least I do. I feel bad. And shit hits the fan. I don't want to hurt the other fables. I just want to solve the murder mystery. Hey, Buffkin. Hi, you Mr. Okay? Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Of course you can. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I saw me. him jump on the telephone before he left. Well, Thanks, he called that up helps. somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Oh. His witch. Okay. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Interesting. That's actually quite useful. Thank you. Listen, Look, this is not your fault. The whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? You, yeah, you mean none it? of it is. Yeah. Of course. He just wants to be useful. Did you see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not uh, not especially. Why didn't you? I, I feel like he didn't know what was happening, but why didn't you stop him? Probably because he was drunk out of his mind? Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? <laughs> I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. <laughs> okay, okay. I get it. I'll would just be an impressive see if sight. I can do anything about this. All right, you, you do, do that. that. You do that. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, so he was on the telephone. Let me just check for everything else. Um, where are you going, babe? Okay, he's just moving. Okay, cool. That's fine. Hey, what's this? Letters. Lots of letters. Okay, Ichabod Crane. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents. And I have to admit, I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I can think, but I think this should be a priority. Hmm. Wait, a smith? Is he using that fake name? Smith. Huh. Crane used or maybe the girls, used that name for Crane when they hired the room. There's a key 207. There's the key 207. Let me check that out later. Let me grab this first. Dear Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Boy Blue. Poor Pinocchio. All right, last letter. What's this? Mr. Toad? Hmm. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the lost incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together. So, Mr. Crane is really not doing such a good job, but we knew that. He's just... I think Mr. Crane is just very busy, like, pleasing his higher clients and uh, higher connections and pleasing himself by killing and murdering trolls. Did Crane ever do any work? Only no. when Cole was around. Cole? Who was Cole? 207? Yeah. What is it? To a like fucking seven. Open He's so stupid. You still He's... haven't told me what was in there. <sighs> I want to know. I need to know. Ah. Uh. was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy. I want to be honest and with her. You, together. I'm sorry. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or I bump know. into me outside. I know. 
It's really disturbing to think about now. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Mm-hmm. Couldn't have known. We'll get him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. I'm protecting. I'm gonna protect you. I'm Come trying. On, let's keep looking. You're my first priority, believe me. What's this? Something here? What's this? <laughs> the little nods and smirks. Cute. They're such a cute, cute pair. I really do love them. Okay, Ring of Swords? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But <laughs> do you know what was here? He makes sense of the books, so... Come at me. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Right. The one on Wait, the phone. Wait, what witch? The one on Buffkin the phone. I've overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm so sorry, It must Snow. be about this ring. What Why is... not mention this before? No uh, one asked me. Buffkin. I did. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm hungover, so. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Right. Then we have a What's lead. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Can you chill, Bluebeard? Blue time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Don't say you're well, sorry. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, no. Booby. None of I'm my sorry. business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Why are you... We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Tend to Look, agree with the big this bye, just isn't guy. the time. Bye. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 4 o'clock. <laughs> A.M. or P.M.? <laughs> A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away. Why him. do you care? Why do you even care about Why this? Why do you care? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. Enterprise. Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. We're not really uh, doing a good job. Crane has been killing fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Oh. Who elected you to make these wow. decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially This is, is not, not important. Officially. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the common with No, you're not. You tr you used to kill your brides and behead them. Shut the fuck up. Ah, uh -uh, I right, haven't forgotten about that. Look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Thanks to you. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few How short much? hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. Right. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We have a few ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Right. <laughs> Why Since are you Lily mad? the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone Thank number or God, something. Holly is still and Bigby alive. is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? He's got a point. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. Then where would They're they go? They're smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. 
You just can't go up there alone, all what right? What about why not? I'm no Let's interest go. in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest. You and know what? It's a crime scene. Fine, go. I'll Fine. go to Lily. I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. Mm. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right she now connected. in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Maybe he's in cahoots with Crane, and he wants to Where are you cover up the evidence. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't let him go. Find the witch. Interesting. Oh, fuck my ass! So we leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Where would we go? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! I'm dealing with things alone. Oh, no. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Oh, no! I think Crane's apartment, though. Shouldn't we go to Crane? I feel like Crane is the best option. Because he has the most ties there. I just feel like so we're after leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. You. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. I feel like Holly's bar. We can always go after. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I, I need. I think to we should go to Crane's apartment because he's the man we are searching for anyway, and the most leads that I'd we're going to, to have you, is that is his part is at to. his apartment. I'm gonna go there. Green's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Yeah, sure. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. All right. I hope you know what you're doing. God, I hope so too. Fucking great. Because <laughs> I have no clue what I am doing. What big eyes you have. Ooh, trophy. Nice trophy. All right, but unfortunately, I am out of time for today. So we're going to have to check up on Crane's office another time, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video and want more parts, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers, so if you could help a girl out, that would be amazing. And uh, I guess I will see you in the very next episode of The Wolf Among Us. See ya.